Hey guys, what's up? Quick shift here. Um, as I was making my Forza Horizon 2 um, uh, kind of wish list slash like like info video, they just updated the website um, like right now, like five minutes ago, um, with new pictures, uh, new info, just a bunch of stuff. So we'll go, we'll go through the pictures really quick. Then we'll go through the um, I'll look through the uh, the text and stuff like that. So the first picture we have is the new, uh, what is it, Lambo uh, what, Hurricane? Yeah, the new Lambo Hurricane, beautiful car, yellow, and I don't know, that looks really cool. I don't I don't really know what to say about that. that the puddle actually looks really, the texture, oh my god, dude. <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, getting to the second video, or uh, not video, picture now. We got the, uh, the Pagani Zonda chilling out on the same kind of the same location and we're on a mountain look at that it's beautiful look at the water texture on the ground too and the birds flying hopefully I was just making the video and we were talking about uh, um, like uh, like uh, what's that what's that road called again hold on um, where is it uh, where... the Stelvio Pass it actually kind of looks like the location, but it doesn't. I don't know. It looks so nice, though. Uh, getting onto the third picture, we have ourselves a Mitsubishi Lancer chasing uh, some SUV or hatchback, and there's destruction going on. We got ourselves a Mitsubishi breaking down fences. I just cracked my thumb. Oh, my God. Um, dirt textures actually look really good. Surprise. I was, in, I was actually... Surprised. I'm actually surprised. I don't even know what to say. I'm surprised to see the dirt textures actually looking that nice and they're actually thick and wide and tall. Oh my god, dude. Um, <laughs> fourth picture now. We got ourselves. Is that a Ferrari? Four high end cars. Mercedes to our right. Lambo. And then I'm not sure what car that is. The red car over in the front. Is it the same car as the one to our left? I don't know, but those are beautiful, te or not textures, but graphics. Oh my god, the water on the ground again, just the water drops on the cars. That's beautiful. Is there, there is a fifth picture. This is our new Lambo again, the new Hurricane. Rear, or picture from the back. Fifth picture is the cover photo. It's, that's beautiful. Sorry for the quick video. I just seen them and I just that is beautiful. Oh my god. I just seen them. I had like no time to actually like like think of anything to say. Only because they came out like 6 minutes ago. That's crazy. Just the graphics on these pictures look so good. When they say when they said rain like uh like a full weather system, I was expecting them to have a rain, but I wasn't actually expecting this much detail for like a Horizon game. Horizon did a great job with her like they did a great job with Horizon One, but I mean this this is this is beautiful. That Pagani view though, oh my God, I can't get over this. Anyways, getting on to the, uh, we'll get on to the text in just a second here. Alright, so getting on the, on, onto the text here, this, like I said, this was just updated at 12, 12, 15 p.m. I'm not sure what time zone, or, uh, what time zone that's, that's in. It's, uh, it's currently 5 p.m. right now, Eastern, Standard Time. So, yeah, uh, they ended up saying earlier today, IGN posted the latest addition to their month-long coverage of Forza Horizon 2 as part of it of its IGN First initi initiative. Today's article was a big hands-on preview of the game and included loads of quotes from members of uh, the Playground Games uh, team who uh, are at the helm of Horizon 2. In addition, the piece featured an, ex an extended discussion between IGN editors Ryan McCarthy, McCarthy and Luke Riley. Discussing what they discussing what they saw of the game during their recent visit to Playground. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why the video behind McCarthy, McCar McCaffrey, jeez, I'm sorry, McCar McCaffrey and Riley and Rayleigh Riley 
is blurred, it's simple, we wanted to show off the first footage of Horizon 2 in its in all its glory and uh, in full screen HD not in the background on a TV screen, makes sense look for actual gameplay footage of Horizon 2 during the Xbox media briefing on Monday, June 9th that's only in a few days, that's next week that's crazy, so we'll be seeing actual like media briefing next week like uh, gameplay footage that's awesome all right next topic seamless on seamlessly online IGN once again said we're shown a demo of this in action despite the obvious obvious complexities and of such uh, a system beneath the surface on screen it truly plays out as a simple as simple as described uh, we watch as a car eases along a road, the game in solo mode, sorry, uh, and the map is packed with traffic, lighting, and atmospheric conditions. The drive attires that are all unique to this particular session. With the press of a button, the game camera shifts around into the front of the car, which is still moving. Um, while the game transitions from solo mode to online play in the space of half a sentence, the drive attires are placed with real players, and conditions and traffic are synced uh, with an online session in progress, uh, all while the car is still cruising down the very same road exactly where it was seconds before, seamless indeed. So what this sounds like is it sounds like um, the way GTA 5 has their their multiplayer set up too. Just this one's a lot simpler. Um, so you'll be in your solo game. You can as from a press of a button. So maybe like up on the D-pad or somewhere on the D-pad. Um, you'll be able to uh, to access any online, or you'll be able to quick play or whatever you want to call it, any online multiplayer match, free roam, um, which is a lot better than the other the other way we had to go and do it. It was a lot more complicated, but now it's a lot better. Um, it makes things a lot more easier. Uh, the drive attires, uh, as they said, I'm just going to read this really quick again. The drive attires are replaced with real players and conditions and traffics, traffic are synced with an online session in progress. So the traffic around you, in front of you, wherever, um, will load up into the multiplayer world. So as soon as you sync uh, with the multiplayer game, the cars that were in front of you from your solo game will sync up and go to the multiplayer game. So they'll be in the same spot. So you won't, you'll you'll still have to dodge the cars, whatever you want to say, and which is amazing. It's, I I find that really cool. Next topic is amazing. Oh my god, a thousand club. A thousand club. I'm pretty sure a thousand club was that uh, the reward program in Forza Horizon One. I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I played it, but I remember as soon as you completed enough challenges, you get rewarded XP or money or something like that. And every once in a while, you get rewarded a car. Um, I remember getting the International, big old red truck. Um, IG ended up, ended up saying the improvements to the online experience aren't exclusively technical, though the Horizon 2 team has also gone back to the drawing board on clubs, which now allow you to create clubs of up to 1,000 players, and has introduced what calls car meets. A thousand players, probably not in the same game, of course, they'll probably be uh, maybe... 20 to maybe 30 or even 40 players in a game but there's actual you can actually in, they've introduced car meets now so hopefully they've actually like gave us a good car meet locations kind of like maybe parking garages uh, stuff like that that'd be pretty sick um, uh, quick quote it really inspired by what happens in the real world explains Fulton um, you can take your car to a car meet and enter an online hangout, basically where you can hang out, you can socialize, you can meet new people, you can chat. You can take your car to a car meet and enter an online hangout. I don't know if we'll actually have our own garages. I don't, I don't want to say that because I don't want to get in shit for getting you guys hyped or something. That's kind of what I'm taking it as though, although I'm not. I think it's just, you know, they'll give you a certain location or whatever. You'll be able to pick your certain location, and then you'll all go there, hang out. Um, in a car meet, you can show off your own custom designs or tunes or browse those of others. 
Players can grab liveries, tunes, or even entire cars from each other within car meets, for which they'll be com compensated beyond that car. Car meets also have, also serve as a place to party up with other players, or better yet, wait for friends to come online. Unlike a static lobby, in car meets you can trigger quick showdown races against other players within the car meet. At, a, at the conclusion of a showdown race, you'll be returned directly to the car meet. Um, it means if you're planning an online session with several mates, but a few of them are late, you can kill time uh, with quick fire races from within a car meet rather than uh, stare gormlessly at, a, at an online spreadsheet of gamer tags. That is amazing! Uh, my take, this is a quick little uh, topic. Uh, which I'm no one. There's no actual quote from anyone. Uh, you want social. You want an involving community with your favorite friends, dedicated to collecting, racing, and customizing cars. Uh, car clubs in Forza Horizon 2, which can have up to 1,000 members, are are for you. Customizing cars. I, I don't know. I want to assume so many different things, but I don't. Hopefully, as I, I just, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was working on another video. Um, I just, I'm hoping that the customization is going to be a lot better. That's the only thing I'm hoping for. Like, I want tuning as well. I want the game to look amazing, although we've already seen that with the pictures, so it doesn't matter. I just want better car customization and tuning. That's it. Alright, so this is the last topic. I've basically read every topic on the list. If you want to see every single thing, I'll post the um, the, uh, the the forum or the, the thread uh, in the description down below or in an annotation, don't matter. Uh, it'll be in one of those two, probably in the description. <laughs> so uh, last one, I ended, ended up saying, it's not an exaggeration to say that the day that we flicked to the switch on drive avatar technology in Horizon 2, the experience changed completely. Suddenly, the races were completely different. The unpredictable skills of drive avatars suddenly have cars going three, a three abreast in a corners, undertaking and weaving, doing things that only real players would do. Computer-controlled AI um, would never think to do, or think like think to, or have been programmed to do. The unpredictable. The unpredictability of the drive tires in Forza Motorsports 5 made the racing a lot more reactive and feels a lot less canned. And the same is true for our brief experience of Horizon 2. Opponents took different lines through the fields. Some seemed more adept than others at maneuvering around civilian cars. And then my take... Um, my takes aren't actually my takes. They're uh, they're on the uh, from the forums themselves. Drive Attack technology transforms circuit racing in Forza Motorsports 5, bringing real human behavior to your races, even when you were offline. When drive attires of your friends and rivals are let loose into the open world of Forza Horizon 2, you can expect new levels of unpredictability and fun. So that's it for this video, guys. If you did like the video, make sure to slap that like button or slam that, but smack that like button. Sorry. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more uh, information on Forza Horizon news or Forza Horizon 2 news as soon as it comes out and as soon as I can get my hands on it. Um, it's not gonna all be. It's not gonna be speculated. It's gonna be actual confirmed news. I'm not gonna post videos of leaks. Um, I'm gonna wait until it's actually confirmed. Because I don't want a bunch of leaked videos on my channel and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to get in trouble for, uh, not, not in trouble, but you know, I don't want you guys to get mad at me because I got you guys too hyped or something like that. But anyways, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys around. Take it easy. Peace. Supposedly, I was the life of the party tonight. I got a call saying we should hit the derby tonight. Black car, white pills, Bacardi and ice. A lot of girls, a lot of kush. So I thought it'd be nice. I was wrong. Not a